my name is Marcelia Lesser. I'm an artist and songwriter. Uh, I'm also a certified activist of uh, women's rights, women and children uh, activists, rather. <laughs> and um, I, at the moment, I'm in Manado. It's three hours flight from Jakarta, and a clinical hyp hypnotherapist. Oh, girl, I'm scared of you. Okay, that's that's really wonderful. Aha. Because <laughs> I, I don't want thank to. Thank you. Thank you. To relax around you, you might just hypnotize me. <laughs> no worries, no. <laughs> so, are you guys under lockdown? At the moment, yes, we are under what we call PSBB, which is a large-scale social uh, training. What What are the restrictions that come with the lockdown? Oh, curfew for several places. It's pretty much we had to follow the central. Uh, uh, it's just a semi-lockdown because the total lockdown won't enable people to do their social activities and work. So um, it's just what they call large, uh, large scale of social restriction. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and and that that includes um, twenty percent, twenty five percent capacity for every restaurant and cafe. Reduce their uh, operational hours to seven p.m. for malls. And um, 9 p.m. for for cafe and restaurant. Oh, okay. At least 9 p.m. is, I think, decent. It varies for different area because yeah. I was in Bali. Uh, I was in Bali two months ago, mm -hmm. and the restriction is is rather tighter over there because mm. you see that uh, every restaurants and cafe must shut down at uh, 7 p.m. Street lights went off at 6 p.m. Damn. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to Jakarta, it's, it's um, a little bit more relaxed. Rather, slightly yeah. more flexible. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then, are people having to wear masks every time they go outside in public? Are they being fined? Oh, the protocol. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sanitization yeah. everywhere. Yeah, correct. It's a, it's a, it's the protocol. I think it's the international protocol. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere where you have to wear masks. Uh, there will be sanction if you caught without it. And uh, in Jakarta, uh, uh, really, it, it's more uh, the rule is it's it's even more strict because not only that you have to uh, wear facial mask, but you have to put face shield on top of it. Oh crap! It's like a plastic glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah that, that, that's around yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay, a shield and a mask. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. In space for. Um, the professionals uh, must be reduced down to 25% only. So it's 75% work from home. That's the current yeah. status of where we are. And uh, on a national uh, schedule, uh, we, we are now uh, have to look forward till at least the 25th of January to, to receive the announcement of whether this whole uh, large-scale social restriction will be extended or ended. Ah, okay. So that's four days away. Then we'll know what's going on. Uh, ah. Do you have a view of the numbers or um, you just have a, like, you know that it's bad? No, the, 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 current, bad. the current statistic of um, COVID uh, yeah. numbers for, for Indonesia as a country is 10,000 to 13,000 cases per day. Damn, that's that's not yeah. good. But however, Recovery. however, there there are many ways to 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 look at it because, I I like I said before, for us to to refer our understanding of the the current national situation, we can't just look at the media. Yeah, you know yeah. because there, there's there, there's a strong gap between a uh, region and the central government. It's about data collection. Yeah. And then data uh, uh, integration, right? Yes. You release in public, and for yes. that, for that alone, um, the ironic part is uh, from region going to the central government in terms of data collection, it takes three weeks. Things change for them to report weeks. from from region from region to central, but then the report on media is daily. How is that? Yeah, uh, that doesn't make sense. Populated. That doesn't tie up. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, 
very yeah. far apart. Hence, a uh, discussion like this must be actively conducted. I personally mm -hmm. supported it to get the civilian perspective yeah. of pandemic instead of getting a one-way uh, view no, with no, the media as the barometer. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so do you know what remedies people are taking? Are they taking any home remedies? Are they, I'm, I'm sure. They're, well, they're... Asia and Africa uh, has one thing in common. Yes, which is girl. a strong belief in, 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 in you know, yes. uh, local traditions yes. and Traditional home remedies. Yes. remedies. And, and as for Indonesia itself, it varies. It, it, the, the, the wonderful thing about Indonesia, we're, we're so, we're very cultural people. Yeah, and if you're talking about uh, home remedy, uh, you might get different response depending on where which province where the they're coming is. from. Right, I got yeah? the same experience so, with my friend in India who said the same thing that different parts of India it'll be a different experience entirely. Indeed, yeah. uh, but but if you if you if you ask this question to uh, people who live in Jakarta for 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 a long time, then uh, most of all most of them will just follow you know, the the international method, the, the clinical opinions and this and that. Yeah. But if you talk to someone else uh, coming from a different background, you'll get a different side of it. Uh, for example, where I am in Manado, yeah. uh, in North Sulawesi, we uh, drink alcohol. We have a traditional alcohol called Chapticus. Okay. And it is believed that the consumption, the consumption of it uh, will raise your, your immune system in, in battling uh, okay. the vulnerability toward COVID. That's yeah. interesting. Hence, uh, this thing. You know, even the non-alcoholic uh, uh, people- Are taking in, it. In, in my region, uh, they, they force themselves to take it. And so far, you haven't heard a negative uh, uh, reaction or response yeah. uh, concerning that good. whole remedy. What, does it taste good? Do you, do you like the taste of it? Uh, it, it tastes like, uh, it tastes like vodka. Ooh, now you know, I'm curious. It, it, it's, it's really strong. You know, we're talking about 40 to 75% uh, alcohol, okay. depending where you get it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how much? You and they, they, they will, yeah, the ritual is uh, usually they'll take that uh, every night before bed. Dang. Some is, is taking a, a whole bottle of it. Some is taking a shot of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and uh, I wasn't a believer prior to, to this, but now that I've been home for a minute, I, I noticed that, you know, it's not actually a, a hope. It's, it's a you thing. Know, that it's, it's an that actual it's thing that's actually yeah, working. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's working. That's great. Um, the contentious question. What are your thoughts on the vaccine? From the beginning, uh, after doing my research, uh, contemplating about, about the situation, I am always advocative in, in telling people that our real battle is not the COVID itself being spread around. I mean, the real, the, real, the great worry will be on a vaccine uh, you know, discussion. Yeah. By the time we hit the vaccine stage, that's when, you know, things will be clearer okay. to those yeah. who are paying attention, yeah. you know? Uh, I, mean, I mean, all along, uh, you will have uh, different communities talking about COVID from a conspiracy, yeah. propaganda, yeah, that's you know, that's point of view and this and that. And it's, 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 it's only fair to look at it from that way. But the way the, the pandemic management um, in any country, I suppose, not Most, only in Indonesia, yeah. can only yeah. be, be uh, implemented in trial and error. Yeah, right? true. I mean, because I mean, there's no there, there, framework. There's no framework to to the blueprint of, you know, how to handle a pandemic. Yes, because they are getting information as they go, so it's not like there's a a know how from the previous true, pandemic. True. Because true. Because hundred years ago, it's a different landscape. Technology and science are different now. People's human bodies are different now. So it really is a trial and error um, journey for. Yeah, people. starting. Starting January 1st, uh, we as a country is being moved from the uh, COVID statistic to the distribution of vaccine. Yeah. What happened was um, in the beginning, uh, the, the media released the news that vaccine will be available for purchase. 
you know, in the beginning of 2021. Right. And then you have, you know, the, the society was screaming about it, you know, and then the, the uh, social media uh, is on fire with the, the criticism of, of the people to the government, you know. Uh, why do we need to purchase the vac- this vaccine? Shouldn't it shouldn't be distributed uh, uh, freely? Mm-hmm. Shouldn't, shouldn't it be made available to really to the people? Yeah. And then the next uh, announcement being made by the government is uh, the vaccine will be made uh, available for the people for free. Yeah. Okay. And then. Um, the next debate happened when people were talking about, okay, what is the result of the clinical trial? What is it? What's the side effect? Right, right, right. Um, they want to wh- know what's going on. Where, where, where's this product coming from? And 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 the ironic part is, out of, eh, you know, we have several distributors of vaccine. We have the German product. We have, you know, the Euro- European, American. Yeah, I wanted but to. But then ask- we have to purchase. Yeah, we have to. We the, the country decided to purchase the vaccine made in China. Yeah? Yeah. So how ironic must it be when you're purchasing a cure, yeah. you know, quote unquote, yeah. from the country who released yeah. now, now the, the, the whole uh, uh, virus in the, in, the, in, in the beginning. Yeah, now your capture so, is your savior. It's, it's, it's weird. Indeed, yeah. indeed, indeed. So, so, so now people are talking about it. Chinese uh, vaccine um, is 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 it's the fastest one we can we can uh, access because of their uh, clinical trial. But they have never see accountability is the luxury. Oh, you know, in the middle of pandemic, right? from the central government to the yeah. region, it's almost like we had to beg for accountability. Yeah. yeah. For yeah, and it's almost like you felt like you are being told what to believe and never question. Yeah, yeah. The ironic part is the the, the, the very beginning of, of our first lockdown in the country, which started in Jakarta. Uh, we are followed by a regulation. Yeah, same. Being uh, uh, being endorsed, be, being enforced by cybercrime also. For the people, so now there's a regulation that people must not question the government. People uh, must not uh, uh, speak up about about you know what anything else? related to the governor uh, government uh, uh, decision mm-hmm. in in pandemic uh, uh, management. So then, it's 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 because, not a rocket science for anybody to understand. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That yeah. How could you be in a, be put in a position? Where you're not you're not allowed to question to 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 counter to to criticize yeah uh, a decision being made by the government that affects your life and the livelihood of that affects your life family. and your family and your friends yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah it's crazy it's crazy um a lot of a lot of countries I think are going through the same thing where if you criticize the government if you say something around the lines of maybe the measures are too harsh or maybe we should consider which vaccine we take. We should um, wait for further trials. You're told you're crazy. You're told you're being radical. You're told you're just basically shut down and written off as a crazy person who doesn't want to um, basically fall in line. It's it's sad that that's happening in many many places. Correct. Yeah. Many in many many countries as well. But then coming back to the vaccine, um, that was the the second uh, stage. Then the third stage. The government said that uh, vaccine is mandatory, and whoever uh, declined to take it will be fined a million rupiah per head, which yeah. equals to um, eighty dollars. Wow! And then the other, the wow. other, the other side effect is you cannot. Uh, uh, currently, is being discussed. Uh, we're told that you know in the future, if you even after paying the fine. For not taking the vaccine, uh, you won't be able to fly because uh, the whole see. rapid test and swap test will slowly uh, be demolished, and they will count on that uh, vaccine card, and you won't be able to extend the passport and and all those. Uh, so I you will be conditioned. Uh, your your opinion about it, your decision about it, will be conditioned by by the restriction given by the government. 
uh, are they talking about flying internally in Indonesia around countries around it? They just mean like you will not be able to move around within the country and outside. Domestic and international. Right? <laughs> Any, anywhere you can reach by car, you, you're free to do so. But to fly domestically and internationally, I'm, we're in the middle of debate of that. It hasn't been officially released yeah. by the government. But it's something but that is what with. is currently being uh, uh, contemplated by the by the parliament. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's heartbreaking. We, yeah, you know what? I'm just. I don't even want to take a moment to take it in because it's it's it's, it's yeah. Really, yeah. It is how painful that yeah. that that sound. Yeah. 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 Um, so what's been the biggest change or positive or negative that's happened for you that you've noticed in the pandemic? I, I would like to surely share the both parts, the both sure. sides of it. I'll start with the positive uh, impact sure. of the pandemic. I, you see, during the pandemic, it's it's ridiculous amount of, ridiculous amount of people lose their jobs. Uh, before pandemic, people always uh, count on attribution of who you are. Attribution, as in career, what you do, what you are, who you know, uh, what you plan to do, what's your uh, five years plan, 10 years plan. During the pandemic and after, uh, what, I, what I love about it is we, it humbles us collectively yeah. about things that actually matter. You know, yeah. yeah. It's uh, usually people, people, people will come to you and ask, "What do you do?" You know, uh, who are you? And and you know, what project are you working on? And what company are you working on? Um, at the moment, people come to each other, asking a very humanist question, like, "Is everybody well? Is the family okay? Are you exactly. well? Exactly. How are you doing?" Yeah, you know. And then the second uh, point of view about it is people care more about the mental health as much yes. as the physiological health. Yes. You know, because mental health it has become a trending topic, you know, from from the, the beginning of a pandemic. Yeah. So uh, I, I love how we are collectively humble and we, we, we're, we're, we're forced, we're forced by condition to, to contemplate uh about meaningful relationship you know what what it means to be alive yeah and what it means to have your loved ones by your side i think that's that's really the gist of what i wanted to know my dog wants attention um <laughs> i'm trying to get away from him um but yeah thank you thank you so much for the very detailed point of view and a very i think very grounded and a holistic point of view of what's going on over there um i appreciate it because that's what i really wanted i wanted to know what are people experiencing? What are, what what is happening that the numbers aren't showing? Because you know, you just get stats, you get this percentage, that number. Oh, but in addition to what I've said, uh, I, I, I I'd like to share how the the rates of divorce is higher than ever, and then the rates of suicide is higher than ever. And that's the importance you know? about mental health. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. indeed. But but then. You know, we have 15 applicants daily for West Java, you know, applying for divorce. 15,000 per day. And they will wow. dare to stand under, you know, serious heat just to make sure, you know, they get divorced as yeah. soon as uh, possible. And the number one uh, reason to that is economy. And then the second uh, uh, reason to that is uh, domestic abuse oh yeah physical abuse we, we were experiencing that too uh, joke that, that going around to to men and women that why would you still break the social restriction by trying to do your activity as normal as you can and then most people will answer you know most married people will answer because i would like to save my marriage <laughs> and it's <laughs> Which important is true. For to stay yeah. outside do something with their with their with their life so they can redirect the, the focus of what's going on in, in in their homes right yeah also also because as human beings i am not just a husband i'm a sister i'm a friend i'm a i'm an activist i'm an analyst so you need to act um keep those other parts of you active you can't just be 
in 24 seven mode, husband mode, that would drive a person crazy. So sure, sure, yeah. sure. Well, there, there's, you know, they're speaking about the new normal program that from here on out, uh, we will be implementing social distancing, you know, which I believe is, is uh, we'll see. <laughs> it's against humanity because we're social. We're, we're social. We're social creatures. creatures. True. You know. True. We because, like I mean, to touch. I mean, we like to be in each other's spaces. True. True. If, if you really take your time, if you search your heart, you will then realize that we as people, we are not your. You know, you being African, me being Indonesian, our difference are not as much as our difference towards our own government. True. You true. know. True. That the enemy is the media. skin color. The enemy is not everybody else. The enemy is the person we elected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so our difference with, with our, our our individual government is bigger than you than than yours and, and mine, you. than you exactly. and I.